Today on Blind Date. Bareback? Did you say bareback? April's a little cold on Chris. Oh, God. Will a cameo by Coolio? So how you feel about the blind date? Change her tune? To be determined. Plus. Hey, how do you go to the bathroom out here, man? Oh, Layton is back. from far away. Be careful, that water's cold. Francis is just out there. I live on this property with 28 people. Can they find common ground? So you say you're in a cult? It's all happening now on Blind Date. Hi again, everybody. I'm Roger Lodge, and welcome to the show. Coming up today, we'll meet the hippie girl and the Rasta man. And later, we'll show you the wrong way to say goodnight. It's an insult-filled visit to the Blind Date Hall of Shame. But first, let's meet April and Chris, who hope their date will go better. Now, April is a Texas girl who loves horseback riding and dancing. Her date, Chris, is a Maryland guy who prefers volleyball and partying. In fact, they both seem to like being on the go all the time. I'm very outgoing. I try and make people laugh all the time. I've always devoted class clown, most enthusiastic goofball. I have tons of fun and, um, you know, live life to every day. I feed on the energy of other people, and if other people are laughing, that makes it even better. People's perceptions of me are that I'm a good girl, but that's not what I'm like at all. I'm much more of a gentleman and a nice guy than any of my friends are, but when the tactics have to come out, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, you know, just like I'm a guy. Well, then let's all watch and see which tactics Chris uses on April. Brought you a little flower. Oh, how sweet. Thank you. You ready to have some fun? I'm to try. <laughs> After you. Thank you. Where are you from originally? Texas. No way. We're going to go horseback riding. Rodeo chick. How appropriate. Where are the, if I know. you pull out a cowboy hat, I'm going to be a little surprised. I don't have. It's in my house. You have one? I have many. Ah, do you have the boots on? I do. Check you out. You are all prepared. Do you go cow tipping? <laughs> yes. I what have. the hell? I have. So what happens when you tip the cow over? It just falls over and you laugh and run away? Mm -hmm. Does it get up and chase you? Mm -hmm. And what fun well, is that? it doesn't that? really chase you. They just kind of like... Uh, I'd be pissed too. I didn't go horseback riding. You got your jeans and boots on. Uh, Obviously, I'm ill prepared. That's right. Here I go. Hi, ho, silver. Got a mind of, a, mind of its own. Let's go. That's the tree. I'm not having any luck here. He's just going in circles. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm getting drunk. <laughs> he likes to do his own thing over here. Ah, uh -huh, real funny. Oh, God. Oh, God. OK, I don't want that. I gotta say, I have a newfound respect for horseback riders. This is more effort than I would think it would take, but. I'm glad you learned something. I think. Whoa, the horse is biting <laughs> me. A horse is bit. It smells leather. It's like, that's my cousin. <laughs> One girl I dated back um, probably about five years ago, just with all my friends, I was thought she walked in. I was stunning. I went up to her in my clumsy stupor. I went to ask her for her phone number, hit her with my head. Uh, and she fell off the stool and literally, and I was so mortified and I don't really remember what happened, but I did get her number. We dated for nine months. That's so interesting. Do you have wingmen, like girls you go out with? Like you gotta take the, you know, the token fat friend or the token ugly friend. Come on, you do this. Guys, do it too. You don't have any unattractive friends that make yourself look better, mm -hmm. okay? Neither do I. How many times do you hear this with guys? Like, they can't settle down because they're bred to pat, what is it, to, to, to breed? They're like genetically programmed to. Well, because breed. women. And women are more the mothering, nurturing, they want to like settle down. Men are sexually driven and women are emotionally driven. Do you honestly agree with that? Because yeah. I believe, I thoroughly believe yeah. that. So many women won't admit that. Yeah. And, is that um, bad? No, it's just like. It's, it's just, we're different people. Yeah. 
Um, the funny thing is, is that. <laughs> what? I just, it just makes me laugh because you can take two situations and like, the way a man looks at it, mm -hmm. oh, they're about to have sex, and you'd be like, oh, they're really in love. Like you can just do, man, I can just picture a man and a woman. I know. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> All right, how about you've been in a situation where uh, you're getting hot and heavy and the guy doesn't have a condom? Would you do it or not? Oh, God. You have. I can just tell by your answer. As no. much as you're thinking about the uh, Uber questions, you're like, oh, oh shit, you're doing this. And every guy I know has done that. I'll, you know, you'll get bit, you'll bitch at you guys. Dude, what are you doing? Did you bear back? You're crazy. What are you? Oh, my God. And then you get yourself in that situation. You're like, bear back? Did you say bear back? Whatever you call it. Oh, my God. You used that term earlier today. What's wrong with it? No, I, oh. <laughs> totally different context. You, how come you know exactly what I was talking about then? <laughs> VIP. Wow. They don't mess around here. Ah, this is horrible. All right. What's up? <laughs> so now, is this a blind date for you? This beautiful girl is my blind date. Is that right? And where you from? Texas. Texas? And where you from? Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, that's kind of, that's a little different, yeah? A little different. We're both representing California right now. <laughs> All your kids will walk like this. <laughs> <laughs> so how you feel about the blind date? I'm having a great time. You cannot understand how much fun I'm having. Is that right? Yeah. So how's it going to end? To be determined, as they say. CBA. Don't you hate that? What? There's uncomfortable silence. I would say awkward silence. <laughs> it's too funny. Me and you are like some of the talk of most talkative people, and we're like quiet. I know. Oh, well, thank you. Boy. I had a wonderful time. Well, oh my god, I had a really great time. Thanks for uh, all the fun time. And... Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Christopher. Right. You can call me Chris. Chris. Awesome. Thank Thanks. You. I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye. -bye. Bye. Gee, was Chris ever going to stop talking? Thank goodness Coolio showed up and gave us all a little break. April will have her chance to talk, and I'm sure she'll have plenty to say right after this. And later. I live on this property with 28 people. Meet the newest cutie on the compound. So you say you're in a cope? That's cool. That's coming up. Before the break, there was lots of talking on Chris and April's date, but unfortunately, Chris did most of it. They went horseback riding, played some video games, and they even met Coolio. Wow, what are the odds? But even with all that, it seemed like Chris just couldn't talk his way into April's heart. Or did he? He kind of dominated the conversations a lot. I think I tried to embarrass her by asking some racy questions that I wouldn't normally ask. We had um, good chemistry, friends, but that just wasn't a spark. I think there's a lot of good chemistry. He just didn't give me the vibe that he wanted to be romantic. He gave me the vibe that he wanted to be friends. I'm absolutely definitely going to ask her out again. I don't think that I would go out with Chris again. So no second date, which shouldn't be much of a surprise to anyone. Except maybe Chris. So now let's move on and see if our next couple has better luck. 
Meet Frances and her date, Layton. Frances comes from Virginia and says that she loves bad boys who are creative and artsy. Layton hails from Jamaica and, according to him, can be very bad, but in a good way. If I'm at a club, I'm going to be the number one guy chicks are checking out. I wanted to have an affair with a Rasta man. I turn the accent on when I want to. They can't resist that. I love artistic musicians. I love artsy men. It creates this whole exotic thing, which I like and I exploit. I'm a very free spirit. Pretty much, you know, every woman I'm with, I fulfill their fantasy. Well, I don't think Leighton was too far back in line when they were passing out the confidence. So let's see how he does. Nice to meet you. Me too. Oh. You ready? Yeah, I'm set. Cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got you this. Oh, thanks. Music. Thank you. Reggae. <laughs> no problem. What's that? A snail or something? Huh? I'm actually Jamaican, so I'm a foreigner also. I'm living with a bunch of foreigners. But they don't look at me as a foreigner just because. You don't have an accent? I talk quite well attending when I stand on me, I say. Hmm. I talk like this so you can hear what I'm saying. When did you move out here? Uh, New Year's Eve. From Jamaica? Yeah. Directly? Oh, I came over yeah. here on the boat. Oh, you did? Yeah, you ever hear of the banana boat? Uh-uh. You came over here today on a boat? No. Oh, when well, you came on a oh, banana really? boat, yeah. You know that song? What song? I'm Keith. Hey, Keith. I'm Nice Francis. to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. You guys ready to go for a cruise? Yeah. yeah. Hey, how do you go to the bathroom out here, man? Well, we kind of go out far enough where we let nature take care of its business. Okay. Just go over the boat. Okay. Come up right over here. Come back down on the deck. Oh, okay. oh you want to go on the front to take care of business? Yeah. I got it. <laughs> 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 Be careful, that water is cold. I know. <laughs> I live on this property with 28 people. It's like uh -huh. almost like a commune. And um, like there's 11 people in my house. Immediately you think like hip is. It's just a bunch of people, you know, who want to live by the beach, who want cheap rent. Okay. It's That's a cool. transitional housing type situation. So you say you're in a cult? That's cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. So what are you looking for in a guy? Um. Someone who. Good table manners. Is like determined <laughs> and knows what he wants. <laughs> so he has our life together, or is at least attempting at that. So, what did you come into this whole dating thing looking for, or expecting, yeah. or the type of expectations? Uh, just to meet someone a little, a little crazy. A little wild, a little freaky, cool. Crazy yeah. in what sense? Crazy in a... Uh, willing to do pretty much anything. <laughs> Try anything, you know. And naturally being a typical guy that I am. <laughs> getting physical. I'm a little on the wild me. side as far as that goes. I mean, I don't need bear goggles, so. Not tonight. You pass the test here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I think you're uncomfortable there, because you're just like, ghastly. No, it's, I mean, it's, you know what? I'll stop drinking. Mm -mm. No, don't stop drinking. Now it's just me. 
not guzzling. Yeah, I'm not drink. uncomfortable. I'm having a good time. That's why I'm That's drinking. That's cool. Keep drinking. You're nice and stuff, but I'm not like feeling it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Man, you totally haven't opened up, man. You totally like you like. Well, this, I'm not feeling no, it. No, I don't feel like talking about this. I don't feel like letting you know this. I don't feel like you're just. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know like all the stuff about you that I want to know because you're totally like you've locked that off. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> 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 Loud and clear. <laughs> Loud and clear. I mean, I had fun, but when it comes down, I have to like, oh my god, this was lame, man. Like, I could have totally hooked up with a million chicks right now. Uh, and you're cool. I mean, you're uh, cool. You're, you're okay, but like, that's I, such a loss, isn't it? No, I'm not. It's all good. It's just uh. Oh, man, I completely hurt you tonight. Not really. Just, you disappointed but, me. But like, you could have hooked up with a million You're chicks. like, you're like, you're not wild. You're not willing to, like, you're, like, all, like, holding back. I'm like, hey, relax, man. It's all good. There you go. Okay, thanks. Nice doing business with you. Yeah, I you too. I hope you have a good night. Good night. Oh, boy, they could barely look at each other. That was really uncomfortable, which can only mean one thing. Their post-date wrap-up should be a thing of beauty, and it's coming up next. Coming up. Here's Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Watch the insults fly out of the Blind Date Hall of Shame. I would never take you out in public. That's next. Welcome back to Blind Date. Now, before the break, Francis and Leighton enjoyed a boat ride. And let's just say the ocean's a little warmer now that Leighton's done with it. And it was during dinner that these two realized they had absolutely nothing in common. He was just gross, like point blank gross. She was bland. She was flat. And just got down on his knees and peed everywhere. Every chick I saw today was harder than this girl was. He, um really believed in the fact that he was such a smooth talker. I'm desirable. So hey, it's, it's her loss, not mine. I did not find my date attractive. I mean, I'm the hot one. I would never, ever go out with Layton again. I would never go out with her again, not in a cold day in hell. I did a public service today. Gee, I just wish they could come out and say what they mean. That was painful. And speaking of pain, stick around, because the insults are flying in a great moment from our Blind Date Hall of Shame and you don't want to miss it. You are the fuck. Get off my stage. <laughs> ah, welcome back to another visit to the Blind Date Hall of Shame. This is where we honor some of the more unusual people you'll ever see. Now take Sean, for example. Sure, he had questionable taste in hats, but his day Tanya thought he was a pretty decent guy. But then Sean started to drink, and their date became, well, a nightmarish journey through hell. I can't do that. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You looking at me, sunshine? Here's daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're about as fun as a screen door in a submarine, to be perfectly honest with you. The shit that I gotta do to have fun. <laughs> I think you're just intimidated, and that's why you're trying I'm to be intimidated big, so by big what? Shot, right? Your average looks, or your what? Your average mind? You haven't said one thing that was stimulating. You're a very average looking chick. Mm -hmm. I would never take you out in public. Could you, by the way, like, not touch me? Thank you. Uh, con Dios.
I thought country boys were supposed to be gentlemen. Well, anyway, that's all the time we have for today's show. I'm Roger Lodge. I'll see you next time. What's up? I'm Coolio with the Florida Neighborhood Ghetto with Stock Superhero, and a blind date is better than no date.